Hey everyone, how's it going? So today we're going to be looking at the Puppet Master 12 Blu-ray collection. This is put out by Full Moon. Uh, it's got 12 individual cases, which I like. I know um, a lot of other companies, when they package something, they'll kind of either compress it or uh, compress it and go the cheaper route, uh, like slipping them in little sleeves like I guess digibooks something like that kind of have but I do prefer uh, the individual cases even though it takes up a little bit of space just because I know the discs will be protected uh, speaking of which uh, this might sound a little hypocritical but there are some loose discs in there if you can hear I'm not sure which ones it sounds like there's about two or three uh, I'm not too worried though. Uh, I know Blu-rays are, you know, they don't get scratched as easily. And uh, this is a pretty big thing to ship, so I'm not too surprised. Everything else I've gotten from Full Moon has been in fantastic condition, so I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna pick on this too much, you know. Anyways, let's bring out Rudy. There's Rudy. And let's get this unboxed. And a heads up, I have only seen the first Puppet Master. I've not seen any of these other ones. These are all going to be new to me. Um, but I'm excited to check them out. I figured it was worth it. This was on sale. I don't really remember how, what percentage off or how much. But I just know it was a pretty good deal at the time. And now I'm finally getting to unboxing it. So there's a good look at all the cases, and obviously we're going to take them out and look at each one. Here's the side. You can pause and read that if you want. And I did just order this directly from Full Moon. Uh, usually when I order from Amazon, sometimes it doesn't come in the best condition. Not all the time, but sometimes. Here's this side. And this right here. And I know they had the... Uh, this box essentially that contained all the movies but this is just kind of a standard one I wouldn't have minded the box actually I think it looked really cool and again I haven't seen any of these except for the first one but uh, I, I watched the first one pretty young and so I have fond memories of it so the box would have been pretty cool but still happy to have this all right and let's see if I can get out the first one without messing anything up I'm not sure how easily these are going to slip out. All right. I'm going to take out the second one here just to make it a little easier, which that one has a loose disc. All right. So the first one, Puppet Master, the one I've seen. Um, good memories with this. I watched this. I think I watched it with my dad. I know my dad had it for sure. Um, we used to have this little den and I would sit there and like put movie on after movie after movie. Um, yeah, I just remember watching this at a young age and really enjoying it. Um, Blade, he was one of my favorites. Uh, I really liked that like buff guy with the hands and the really tiny head, uh, that scene in the elevator, if you remember, uh, just the, that always stuck with me. And here's the back, so you can pause and read that if you want. Here's this, the specs. And here's the spine, if it'll focus. I don't know if it will, let's be honest with you. Just because I have these in the back, let's see. There we go. All right, let's get it opened. And pretty standard, but I'm not expecting much from this. Here, why is this not focusing now? There we go. Um, nice. Can't wait to watch it, though. I actually haven't seen these on Blu-ray. Um, obviously, haven't seen the rest of them, but I haven't even seen this one on Blu-ray or in really good quality. So I'm uh, going to be happy to check that one out again soon. And I believe part two has a loose disc, so we'll be careful opening that. But here's the cover. 
There's that big guy I was talking about. I have no idea what direction these go either. I know they get pretty weird, and there's a, a reboot that came out that isn't included on this, but uh, there's also a 4K of that, so you can pause and read that. Specs. All right, let's be careful opening this one. Oh, no. And... Ooh. Oh, you see a little bit of me. <laughs> Not scratched, thank goodness. And uh, pretty cool disc art. I like that they actually have disc art and they're looking different, you know. I think uh, for being a more independent type of company, Full Moon actually does really, really good stuff with the releases, even just the DVDs. So here's Puppet Master 3 now. Here, uh, I'll leave that out of frame so it can focus. Um, looks somewhat Western, but also like it maybe take, takes place in the past. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, or maybe some weird alternate future, some Wolfenstein stuff. And there's a spine. And again, I know these get pretty weird, but I don't know how weird. So I know they have something to do with like war and Nazis or something. That's the one thing I know. And especially because of... Uh, the reboot that came out. I actually did watch that one. Alright. And here's the inside. It was called The Littlest Reich. So I'm, <laughs> uh, we'll see where these go. But I believe it, from what I can tell, it's basically the puppets versus Nazis or something. Or they fight Nazis back in the day. Or maybe Toulon was a weird old Nazi dude. I have no idea. It gets really weird though. And there's Puppet Master 4, looking pretty badass. Cool cover. Here's the spine. Is it focusing? A little bit. And here's the back again. And there's specs. Pause and read that. And the inside. About the same artwork. And next, Puppet Master 5, and this is the last one that actually uses a numerical uh, aspect to the sequels. The rest kind of have uh, sub-names, is that what they're called? I'm not sure. Pause and read that. Specs again. And the inside, and this guy looks badass too. It looks like a Almost looks like a predator alien creature. All right, and the next one, Curse of the Puppet Master. And have you ever noticed that the sixth movie in a series always kind of has curse? I I don't know why, but I've always noticed that. Um, curse of Chucky, Curse of Michael Myers, Curse of the Puppet Master. I think there's another one. I don't remember what the other one is. I've just kind of noticed that. It's always the sixth movie. Is that tradition? Is that a tradition I don't know about? All right. Here, I just want to make sure I'm focusing, getting it all. All right. And next, there's a book actually in the middle. Um, should we flip? You know what? We'll flip through this at the end. And next, Retro Puppet Master, and this looks very, very different. Was this rebooted already? I'm not, like, rebooted twice. Doesn't look like it, just a different kind of cover. This is the seventh movie. And there's the disc art. And next, Puppet Master The Legacy. Um, looks a little back to normal. <laughs> um, got Blade there. Um, is this guy Torch? I think that's his name. And I don't know these two. And there's the spine. And here's the back. And you can pause and read that. And all right, not a red, orangish disc, <laughs> blue this time. Looks interesting. It almost looks like this was supposed to be the last one based on the name and like the way it looks, but 
Uh, we know that's not true. <laughs> and next, Puppet Master Axis of Evil. And there's that flag again. I have a feeling it's... I don't know. It From the other covers I've seen of the sequels, it, it looks like they're fighting Nazis in World War II. It's very odd. Like, almost like they're little puppets, so, like, they infiltrate stuff. Does Is that what's happening? And here's the interior. Something actually very different looking from the cover art. Always like that. And next, Puppet Master Axis Rising. And this one um, has a loose disc also. Is it focusing? There we go. Here's the spine and the back. I can't tell if it's focusing right. It's like a little glare on my camera right now. All right, and let's fix the disc. Oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering what the cases look like, there you go. No eco anything. I guess you could kind of tell from this side, but you never know on this side. And there's the disc art. And I believe the last movie now, Puppet Master Axis Termination. Uh, looks pretty, pretty crazy. It's going to be fun to actually sit down and watch all these and kind of see how each one's changed. There's that. And I like that there's actually some special features on here. I was surprised even getting some Full Moon DVDs that they had special features. I thought it was going to be the bare bones movie and that was it. There we go. And I believe this is like a little documentary type of thing. Um, the artwork looks like something from Fright Rags, whoever does the artwork for those shirts. And there's the spine. I think that guy's name, his name's Toulon, right? Got his little box of tricks. Oh, this sounds like it's a loose disc too. And you can pause and read that. Um, feature packed. Yeah, it's like a little special feature type of disc. It looks like it's a little mini documentary. Oh, right there. Nice. Excited to check this out. You never see a whole lot of that with Full Moon, so it's going to be pretty interesting. Let's get the disc back in. Oh, my dogs are barking. Sorry about that. Someone was at the door. And here's this disc. It's pretty cool. I really like the artwork on there. When I first saw it, I was just like, it really reminded me of Fright Rags, so I wasn't sure. Um, you know, I felt unsure of how much I liked the cover, but... Um, that artwork looks looks pretty badass. So there's Arcana or Arcana of the Puppet Master, and now the booklet. Um, not sure what's in here. I'm sure it's just going to be one of those standard booklets with information. Uh, hopefully, there's nothing <laughs> too bad for YouTube, but you know me. If it's in here, I'll just show it anyways. Kind of talks about each movie you can pause and read that if you really want i'm not going to just in case i kind of want to go into the sequels blind and be shocked as much as i can pretty cool it's really cool when they include stuff like this in a box set sometimes they can either just throw the movies in put a little too much or they give you something like this that's just really perfect there's that ooh some really really nice artwork on the back pretty cool don't know if you can hear but there's a big truck driving by outside here's the box just to show you at the end right now 12 blu-ray collection there's a good look at Toulon's puppets right there too Oh, I remember this one too. I think her name was Miss Leech. That one always made me squeamish when I saw that scene as a kid because the whole, like when I learned what leeches were when I was younger, knowing that they just kind of suck your blood, it was like, ew, it's like a slug vampire. It's ugh, gross, you know? Um, but yep, I'm going to 
put these back in so you can kind of get a look at what they're going to look like. Again, just because. And um, I am excited to add these to the collection. I'm not really sure how I'm going to display it though, just because I can display it with the cases out, but it is a box set, so who knows? It's tightly packed too. There we go. Probably going to actually leave the book out then, just because it's already really tightly packed. All right, but there's another look at all the spines together. That's what it's going to look like. The booklet was right here in the middle too. And here's one last look. All right. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in whatever I do next.